There you go, first fish. Might be a decent trout or it might be a little red fish. Hey, Dad, I got a fish. A uh, big pop of pearl down south. Oh, it just came off. It was a good trout. It was a good trout. Yeah, good. It's good keeper. Damn. I just missed that fish. That was a good fish. Wow. That's probably a good 20 right there. Uh, this is what I was throwing. Needlefish kind of ate my tail, but I'm that big pop of pearl. So this morning, me and my dad are out here over here in Ingleside this morning. We're just trying to run the boat, you know, kind of getting ready for the Haney tournament. And uh, decided to come over here. It's a little protected on this side. Uh, fished this spot with Marvin before. I fished with my buddy Jason. And there's a video of that too. And um, But yeah, I just switched. I was throwing topwaters. And wouldn't get any hits. And them seagulls kept kind of wanting to mess with it. I didn't feel like dealing with hooking a seagull. So I said, you know, I'm going to throw this big pop of pearl on. And that was third cast. I caught that trout. Well, missed though. <laughs> More like real quick catch and release trout, unfortunately. Uh, but that looked like a good solid 20 for sure. Um, but yeah, we're out here just... You know, mess around, do what we do, you know. So, uh, y'all stay tuned and see if we can't, see if I can't uh, actually land a fish. But he hit that one on the fall. It was, it was a good hit, good trout. That sucks, but that's part of it. I think I, he just kind of got in the grass. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of grass in here. Uh, if y'all can kind of see it through the GoPro. I and mean, the water looks good in here, but it does get a little dirty as it gets a little bit further out there once that wind comes off this back of the shoreline. But, um, man, I mean, that fish hit it pretty good, too. I thought I had a good hook set on him, but he could have got me in the grass and then wound up pulling it out. I may need to adjust my drag. That's another thing, too, guys. Like, whenever you're whenever you're out here, you know, when I throw topwaters, I tend to loosen the drag a little bit, you know, because you're working that topwater. Once that fish hits and they have it, you know, you don't have to, you don't want to feel like you have to rip it out of their mouth. And I kind of, once I switched over, I cranked my drag down a little bit more so it's not so loose and I might have had a little too much. You know, like I said, I definitely wasn't horsing that fish, but uh, he just might not have got a good hook set in him. So y'all stay tuned. See if we can't uh see if we can't get another one. It feels pretty decent. I'll back it off just a little bit more, but like I say he could have just got me in that grass. So but let's see what happens. See if we can't pick up another one. I said the same thing, that big pop pearl in the southern shad, uh, eighth ounce, K Wiggler, twist lock jig head, two watt, you know, black nickel, that's like kind of my go to. Um, like I said, if you haven't thrown twist locks, you throw more push ons, definitely check out the twist locks. So they're not hard to, not hard to use at all, and I, they tend to hold the baits better. Especially, like I said, you know, you get softer, softer plastics that just tend to rip a little bit more. You know, you, you catch a couple fish, like, it just kind of has that, gives that bait a little more longevity, get more out of it instead of having to switch bait so much. You know, once they start tearing, you start getting into some fish. But yeah, I would like to see that one in hand, but that happens. Like I said, try not to horse it, but... Kind of circling like a red. It might just be a trout. Oh yeah, I think it's a good trout. It's a good trout. Yeah, solid trout. There you go, baby. Big pop of pearl. Definitely not trying to horse or anything, but that's a good fish. Decent fish. I'm get him to come up and show himself a little bit. Good trout. Or is that a red fish? Oh, it's a red. Never mind. Redfish. Thought it was a trout at first, but still a fun little fight. 
There you go, got a blue tail. Look at that guy. Pretty little red. He's probably like 19 three quarters. There you go, on the board. He definitely wasn't coming out. Yeah, that's red. That's hooked up. I think it might be a, a better redfish. Like a keeper? I it might be close. Oh, I think that will make. 21 and a half, maybe 22. That's a healthy fish, yeah. Probably 22, like this is a good fish. Get back at it. That caught a nice, nice trout. Switched to a like a chartreuse colored K Wiggler. No ball tail. I just switched to 21. 21. Yeah. He stopped it. Water feels cool over here. Awesome. Good Look at that. She didn't jerk. Oh, yeah, she nailed it. She's like, what do you want? That's a good fish. Yeah. You saw that. yeah. Kind of a little skinny, but yeah. good fish. Dad! Okay, you're coming. Yeah, I think we found him off this edge. Dad went out and worked to the right of me, just trying out that one spot to that point, and, and I kind of came out the other side of the boat. Also another redfish. Another red. About the same size, maybe a little bit smaller. Fish, the second one I picked up. Marvin said sometimes these fish would get stacked in here, you know. That's cool. Got a big old spot on him. Got like 18 probably. They pop a pearl. And he's like 18 and a half maybe. 
through, little buddy. Switch to a little John, like a real like a purple color. Or is that a redfish? I think it's a redfish. Kind of look like a trout, but. Oh, no, it is. Oh, it's a good trout. Good trout. Good trout. Good trout. Come here, baby. Come here. Oh, God, no. Don't do that. It's a good, it's a good trout. Come here, baby. Come here. There we go. It's a good trout, Dad. Damn good trout. Look at that. She might have choked it, too. I mean, slight bite. Oh. Damn good trout. Wow. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Oh yeah, solid trout. Damn it. I think she. Oh yeah, she inhaled that. I'm about to cut that. Let her take it. But I have to show you that little John if I got some more. But this is definitely oversized, so I don't want to. I don't want to. Come here, baby. Yeah, we're gonna just cut it. Cut it, let her have it. I mean, this is beautiful trout. Four pounds. About there's my 20. So I see where she stopped. She's somewhere around 24. Good trout, good 24 inch trout. Good trout. I think she, yeah, she already swallowed that jig head, so she should be good. Good, nine, good, nice 24. Solid fish, four pounder. Saw me, just look at that girth on her. Come on, baby, there she goes. Kick off, kick off, kick off. There she goes. So fish the same spot, just kind of move down a little bit further, kind of where we started. Trying just a little bit more. Kind of borderline. No tag. That one might be close.
And that's not with a pinched tail either, so. All right, so the GoPro stopped recording on me. The one I have, but I just hooked up. I couldn't get it recorded, but it's a nice solid trout. Just want to record it for you all and then let her go. So if you are new to the channel, like I said, like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate it, and I'll see you all out there next time.